Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently, uh, internet celebrity Chris Crocker is no longer posting YouTube videos. Anyway, in other news, I've been reduced to riding a skateboard for the last two weeks because my car's been in the shop. My car was running like shit. I took it to a mechanic. It took him two weeks to figure out that he couldn't figure it out. My brother-in-law, also a mechanic, spends 30 minutes with the thing and figures out it's a goddamn spark plug. I would have never guessed that. There's a lot of things in this world I understand. I can build a computer from scratch and rewire anybody's stereo system, but when my car isn't working, I'm fucking lost. The inner workings and mechanics of automobiles are so fucking mind baffling to me, though, that I think that all mechanics deserve a damn medal of honor. Problem is, as confusing as it is to me, they still have to explain it. The piston starts at the top, and the intake valve opens. The piston moves down to let the engine take in a cylinder full of air and gasoline. That is the intake stroke. Then the piston moves back up to compress the fuel and air. Compression makes the explosion even more powerful when the piston reaches the top of its stroke. The spark plug emits a spark to ignite the gasoline. The gasoline charges and the cylinder explodes, driving the piston back down. Now this guy could be saying anything. He could be speaking fucking gibberish as far as I'm concerned. And the problem is, I believe anything this guy tells me. You see, your your peanut and your walnut in your exhaust manifold are supposed to be perfectly parallel at all times. And what happened was it wasn't like that. So your peanut, just being like this, just a little bit like this. And uh, that's why your tire popped. Um. All right, um, so what do I do with you? He can tell me that the basic mechanics of my car running is a magical little wizard that lives inside my motor and as long as he has a healthy supply of grape juice, everything's fine. And I'll believe him and I will put grape juice in my car. Another interesting thing to note, the little mechanic there, of course, that was me. Know why? Because I can't get any of my freaking friends to collaborate with me in videos. I don't know what the hell the problem is. They get all embarrassed as soon as the camera turns on. It's like everything's all good until you turn the camera on and they're like, Yeah, dude, I know what you mean. That's So if I ask a friend of mine to put in some fake teeth or something and act like a jackass in front of the camera, they get all embarrassed. <laughs> have you seen my videos? Apparently I have absolutely no problem being a complete jackass on the camera. The really fucked up thing is though, I'm not acting, I'm actually like this. And now for today's random sound effect, listen close. Watch me! Oh that's just great. How was that for shameless self-promotion? Not bad?